Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Remnant 2. We're at this Aztec type situation here. This temple. This music is so serene. Here they come, here they come. So let's go ahead and hop on down and take this kind of slow. I see an enemy over there. So these guys are kind of like brutes. Like this that has quite a bit of HP, that one does. Let's go ahead and just shift into our special and just do more damage. Hope there's not another one. Looks like there's multiple directions to go, so let's go ahead left first. We'll go center later. Possibly lead us to more dungeons and stuff. Oh, we got another one of them. How convenient. Luckily, we can get some headshots off. Actually, they're really slow. This takes a ton of hits. Drop some ammo. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and kind of take a look around. I see a book here. Let's go ahead and just skip that. I'm not really interested in any of these right here. Hopefully we don't have to do anything with these books. Memorize anything. Do have a chest over here though. That's what I like to see. So we finally got some galvanized iron. We'll probably run into more of that now since this is the third world we've been to. Just check all these books. You never know what uh, falls out of them. This seems like it's going to be a puzzle. So let's go ahead and head this way now. And check out what's over here. We got some enemies. Let's take this nice and slow. Don't want to get ambushed. Luckily, it's daytime. There's actually good lighting in this place, which is a nice change of... It's a breath of fresh air. Nice change of pace. Great. Ooh, that scared me. Okay, he's walking a little fast. Okay, get him, doggo. Cool. So he does a charge attack. And we got another chest here. Some more galvanized iron. We can almost have probably enough for an upgrade. I know I can walk through that, but it won't let me. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the entrance. Nothing, no library books here or anything like that. Just enjoying the scenery. Now let's go ahead and head up to the main path. Let's see what's up here. Possibly a dungeon or something. Hopefully there's no booby traps. We can go left. But we will go left in a second. I want to see if I can open this door. No, it's locked. Okay, this will be for later then. Oh, never mind. It opens. Hopefully it doesn't close behind me. Does it bring this time? 
Who? What is this place? It stands before the Eternal Empress, once and future ruler of Yesha. Her Majesty asks once more. What brings the Pexotec to her court? Answer, for eternal life is not the same as eternal patience. I need to find a beast of great power, hopefully when you went dead. Her Majesty is unsurprised by its solipsism. From the Krell to Ford to the Destroyer, Pexotec ever served the wants of the self. You know Ford? There is no name more cursed in these royal halls. When the pestilence came, Ford succored the schismatics. Treachery turned to ruin. Ruin to desperation. Her Majesty would see Ford bleed. Would see all Paxotech put to the blade. But the Paxotech prowess is fearful. Ford, the Destroyer, and others were staggering, undeniable. Perhaps Paxotec's strength can serve to liberate rather than oppress Her Majesty. In her eternal wisdom, will grant it grace. The Paxotec's life in exchange for another's. I'm listening. Her permanence has spent many lifetimes communing with the Thane. The Holy Tree grants euthanasia, but also clarity. The Paxotec needs salvation, power to overcome the only true enemy. Do not demure, for it has not the guile to see beyond her eternity. All dance to the same world song. Different notes, different parts, same tune. The Paxotec seeks the abomination. It would slay this creature, and her eternity would see it slain. In this way, it will prove its loyalty and worth for her majesty. Will not suffer another transgressor. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. It deserves death, yet spits at the alternative. Her infinitude is too gracious. Yet let it decide. Her permanence savors either outcome. She desires only to bring the Nunyatov back to the pen. To draw her people back from the abyss created by the Sundering. But the abomination bedevils her will. A horror, wretched in her sight. Let the Paxotec face this dark spirit. Be not her bane, but her blade. Then the Paxotec shall have its reward. I have questions. Ask them, but do not test her eternity's grace. What exactly is this abomination? Does it need a reason to obey eternity? Hmm. Perhaps hating the fiend as we do would sharpen its edge. We once had a guardian, a god of many faces. This one of many was destroyed by Paxotec. And now, in the Guardian's rotting remains, root and ruin have entwined into a horror and a mockery of divinity. And this thing keeps you from restoring your people? Mm, just so. What will happen if I slay this abomination? Mm, peace. And greatness, Paxotec. Nunyutav will once again return to the Eternal Court, bringing immortality to the deserved. And the Deathless One will put her hoof through the black heart of the root. Any chances immortality can be shared? 
The Nunyatav is a sacrament do the exalted. It is not for the lips of even the common pan, let alone the unworthy Paxotec. Her permanence will not speak of this again. What happened to this place? You spoke of a sundering. When the dark spirit wormed its decay into our god, the husk of the blessed Thane grew malign. The eternal ziggurat was torn asunder. Our world now hangs by its tendrils, and our future by a strand of hope thinner still. But the Empress wants a vengeance. Ah, a mortal concept. Vengeance is for those whose lives are too short to see beyond it. Her eternity's vision spans the totality of time. Vengeance is too petty a word. How are you communicating with her permanence? I don't hear anything. The foolish Kuri Kuri could sooner comprehend the desires of the sun than the Paxeltec could grasp the powers of her permanence. Try me, I'm, pr I'm a pretty clever bird. It speaks above its station. We do not explain ourselves to Paxeltec. If it asks again, her answer shall be written in steel. I understand, never mind. Okay, I think I get the shape of things. The path to desire is neither easy nor safe. Go forth, Blade. Cut away the rot that plagues this world. Prove there is one Paxel tech that is more useful living than dead. Okay, so we got quite a few things to take care of let's go ahead and look around real quickly doesn't look like there's anything over here now we could have gotten a combat fought these people there is an option for that but I'm not sure how wise that would have been so it looks like I just need to go this way and head towards that open area over here to the right so I'm glad I checked out the door first. So... Okay, that doesn't damage me or anything. Looks like this is probably the route that we need to go then. I wonder what type of enemies we'll be facing. So this leads to a whole nother section. And now, where are we? So we need to find the the abomination, essentially. Although we did fight an abomination in the last area we were just in. It was literally called the abomination. So this would be a good point to get some ammo and stuff. Now we're in Yesha. The withering wield. I wonder how open this map is gonna be. So this is kind of a jungle sort of environment. Really testing my PC on this one it is. Oh, we got... Okay, there's just some birds. Oh! Uh, I'm not sure what just came and attacked me. Now we want to go left or right? Let's go left. So we're, we're on some sort of treetop right now. So we have to fight the rot itself, it looks like. Crap. Luckily, the okay, these are the these world's weak enemies. They don't take much damage. However, they blend into their environment extremely well. So we can walk on this. There's like no poison damage or anything. They are glowing red a little bit, so that should be a little bit of no issue. Let's go ahead and head upstairs, kind of explore every nook and cranny about this place. Just grab some a little bit more forged iron. We got stairs here too. 
Looks like we explored everything here, so let's go ahead and carry on. So I wonder if this is a dungeon or this is kind of the open world area. Got a deer there too. Hopefully you don't use the stairs. Now this place is creepier than the last. Because jungles are good environments to kind of hide in. Let's take a look over here. This is a pretty linear stage. Got some more galvanized iron, so we're starting to get more and more galvanized iron as we play. So I think I have enough to upgrade this weapon, so next time, next chance we get, we'll go back to base and upgrade the weapon. Pretty cool that they leave the deer alone, so they only hunt humanoids. Oh! We got a ranger. And, okay, so they corrupt. Let's go ahead and use this right here. Oh, we got nailed by that. I wish this mod would last forever. It's pretty awesome. Completely miss that. And they uh, dodge shots too. I'm running low on ammo. There's a ring up there, so we'll go up there in a second. Kind of want to check out what's to the left. Okay, we'll go right first. Since that seems to be the way to go, uh, the other way is. So we're starting to get subsections now. Stone of Balance. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. Reduces all damage by 7%. That is pretty good. I'm going to take a look at what I want to replace then. Let's go ahead and replace this ring. Bray health regeneration by 2 per second. And we'll do the stone ring. Where did it go? Uh, reduces all damage by 7%. So we're going to be even beefier too. Now which way do I want to go? Looks like we can go. Let's go ahead and head across now. And check out this building at least. And see if there's anything kind of important over here. If it's a dead end or something. Luckily they make a crap ton of noise. So I'll, I'll always know that they're coming. This, this area seems to be some one of the easier areas I've uh, faced thus far. Uh, just tons of relic scrap and stuff like that. Now, I guess we're at a crossroads now. Because we can go right or we can go left. Let's go left first. We'll always come back to the right if we need to. Ooh, I hear uh, badass music. That scared me. The music volume just like shot up. Ooh, hate that. So they're actually pretty awesome. Pretty badass up close. Ooh, I dodged that way too late too. Luckily, we uh, we have so much damage reduction that it doesn't really matter. Let's continue going Come left. Let's do this. So we got a mixture of really beefy enemies and ultra weak enemies. I don't know what those things are supposed to be. Maybe deer? That got uh, corrupted by the, the rot. At least we're getting some ammo back. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. So we got a chest. More galvanized iron and we got a serum too. 
we really haven't had a, really a reason to heal much in this game thus far. Nothing over here. It's dead end. Time to go the other route then. The level layout is not really that inspiring. So they have range. My dog is pretty useless in this scenario. The only really good thing the dog has been doing so far is just rezzing me whenever I fall down. So let's go ahead and look at this building. Looks like we just went in a big loop. Anything over here? Got more forged iron. No staircase or anything. So let's go ahead and head back down this way and continue the route. And we're going to go right at the crossroads. And see how it kind of connects itself. Pop that dog. Uh, we got a stone over here too. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, let's go ahead and explore this area a little bit. And check out the, kind of like the, the dead ends and stuff. Nada. Okay, let's go back this way. And whoa, we got a boss. Completely unload on him. So we took out half his health so far. Oh, what's hitting me? Let's go ahead and use a special here. That'll do some damage. Let's go ahead and heal up. Oh! We're bound. Let's go ahead and heal up if we can. Okay, my dog will arrest me. Uh, let's just go ahead and just focus killing the boss. Hope we don't get killed. Oh my god. Freaking everywhere. We got annihilated. <laughs> Hope the walk back is not too far. Let's try this again. Got it. Not too bad. We got blood bond, uh, blood bond trait now. We'll see what that does. And we got a hollowed egg amulet. So let's go ahead and take a look at those real quickly. So we're gonna look at the trait blood bond. Where is that at? This 
Archetype summons absorbs 0% of damage taken. Archetype summons absorbs 0 damage taken by the caster. Oh, okay, that's what our percentage right now. So our summons, so our dog, will absorb some more damage. This might be kind of useful also. But we're going to go ahead and do mod power regeneration first. And then we'll kind of focus on that. And we got this right here. Spending at least 3% of firearms magazine to deal damage increases melee. Nope, not interested in that. So that wasn't too bad the second time around. We just had to take care of the adds, which we did not. I thought they were going to be more like bombs or something like that. Let's take a look around. Maybe a chest here? No. Kind of tricksy. Trying to trick us with those uh, doorways and stuff. <laughs> oh, there's a checkpoint here we could have rested at. So we ran all that way for nothing. Let's go ahead and back to the base and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this weapon. Now, let's go ahead and upgrade the Nightfall. And we can only do one upgrades because we only have one galvanized iron. It costs a lot of galvanized iron for this. Thank I'm going to go ahead and head back to that spot we were just at. We're back now. Let's go ahead and continue the route since that's the only way we can go, really. And let's see what we have over here. So it looks like we have a Y split again. We're going to go right this time. I seem to always pick the routes just naturally that have the most treasure and then can backtrack. No issue. Got some enemies here. So we should be hitting even harder now. Dog's not completely useless, just somewhat. Now, there's probably a couple bosses that I wouldn't have survived or a couple of scenarios I wouldn't have survived if I didn't have the dog to revive me. That self-revive is ultra powerful. Now let's go ahead and look around this building. Some more forged iron. So galvanized iron is just going to come very scarcely. We probably have to do something like a venture mode or something to actually get a little bit more. Let's see a trait over there. Grab this. And we'll do the mod generation again. Commit. Yes, don't mind if I do. Get the mod at fast as. Oh! That caught me off guard. Getting the mod out as fast as I can is pretty much most of my damage because I get harder to hit also when I have the mod generation up. There's something up there. There we go. We're gonna go right again. Okay, it just leads into a big circle. No issues here. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and complete the circle. And continue going right. Well, there's something over here. Yeah, let's continue going right. Ah, I see. It's just uh, staircases that lead to the same place. We got another dungeon down there, too. So we shall go down there. And kind of check it out. After we grab this right here, the galvanized iron. And... Check if anything's over here first. Nope, nothing. We'll go ahead and enter in here and see where this leads us. So we're in some sort of temple right now. Where are we? This is Andaria's End. So this is a dungeon in itself. Let's go use the checkpoint. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out real quickly. So there's tons to explore here, judging by this map. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode for today here. So if you like this episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.